Peace and blessings, soul family. I love you all. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope this wind doesn't disturb the video too much. Came out here to fill up some jal from the creek so that I can have for my kalash for uh, Navratri today. It begins today. And I also wanted to come out here and leave a couple of offerings out here because today the avatar of Devi that is Shailaputri and she's connected to the root chakra and to the earth. Shaila means mountain or stone and Putri means daughter because she's the daughter of the Himalayas. But um, her being connected to the mother goddess to Bumi, Prithvi. I figured that I wanted to come down and leave a few of these offerings because uh, on the autumn equinox, uh, we were outside and the mother goddess brought a few deer, a mother deer and a couple of baby deer. And uh, luckily we were out there, this one car was starting to fly by and they didn't even pay any attention. I had to run out in front of the road and make them slow down. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh yeah, one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video is the the power and um, presence of the Divine Mother. <clears throat> I know back when I was a child growing up and being raised in a Christian church and stuff like that, I remember for many, many years, all the way up to my teenage years, like praying to God to change something or to fix something in my life uh, to remove a lot of the chaos that was go uh, in my life growing up and help me with a bunch of the trauma and I remember for the longest time it was like I literally just felt like there was no God for a very long time and I became an atheist for many years luckily the the mother blessed me with a darshan during a um, a journey I was taking on some entheogens and I actually was able to see the divine in all of nature it was like she was sparkling for me it was so beautiful <clears throat> but after that working with many goddesses uh, my path from Christianity led to just paganism into Luciferianism and now I don't really claim to be any specific thing but my practice comes heavily from the Western esoteric tradition and Sanatana Dharma, specifically the Shakta traditions <clears throat> of Tantra. But when it when you look at the aspects of the divine when it comes to masculine and feminine, when you look at uh, Shiva and Shakti, Shiva is that pure witness um, it is the the consciousness of the divine and now Shakti is not separate from Shiva they're two sides of the same coin but Shakti is that power that energy that manifests from the consciousness of Shiva um, I've heard it explained sometimes as when Shiva is turned away from Shakti, just kind of as an analogy, that that's when Shiva retreats back into itself and uh, the whole world, you know, recedes into itself. But then whenever Shiva turns towards Shakti, Shakti begins to dance for Shiva and starts to create this beautiful dream that we find ourselves in here now. But I feel like the presence of the mother is so much stronger with her being that power, that that Shakti, that energy of God. <clears throat> and also, besides the being able to feel her presence, you can see her all around you. Look at this, all of this nature that is Shakti, that is, this is, we exist within Prakriti, which is basically the creatrix all of physical and even some non-physical <clears throat> expressions of nature and you if you think about it everybody says what mother earth mother nature 
that's because all of this that we we see surrounding ourselves is that mother goddess her presence is all around us and can always be felt although some may not understand what it is <clears throat> you even see in kabbalistic traditions the shekinah being that feminine aspect of god which is the all-pervading presence that you feel of god <clears throat> and then we have within the macrocosmos of like the nandol shaiva tradition um you know as the macrocosmos it's shiva as pure consciousness and shakti as pure energy then as it becomes veiled by maya and the kanchukas um we get down to the microcosm, which is Purusha, which is our individuated consciousness, which is not separate from God. It's just a individuated piece, a, a tiny corner of the fractal of God. <clears throat> and then Prakriti is that feminine aspect of uh, Purusha, that is that physical energy, the thing that is um, affected by the gunas. So, Rajas, Tamas, and Satwa. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about the Mother Goddess a little bit today when I came down here and just express my eternal gratitude for her presence in my life. Yeah, life is beautiful. I love you guys. Oh. Shaila Putra Ye Namaha Om Devi Shaila Putra Ye Namaha I love you guys, peace